What we're about to ask of you today doesn't come easily, especially now of all times. This Railway Institute was founded for Shield and by, among others, Timothy Hackworth himself. It's a living and breathing part of his legacy. And it's part of the very DNA of Sheldon itself. Some of the biggest industrial names in this town were members here. It started 187 years ago, right here, and occupied a room here until 1860. After that, the Stockton Down Railway Company built a dedicated building right here. By 1906, that building was outgrown and unsafe. So the North Eastern Railway built the building we occupy today on Redworth Road in 1930. Through all its years, this institute has looked out for the children and brought opportunities and campaigned for the well-being and good of this town. It's hosted so many of our biggest celebrations and so much more besides. Generations of Sheldon people learned here, played here, danced here, met here to debate important issues and even found each other here. This building has a good right to look tired. It's been well used by so many. And yes, it has changed and will change again. From saying hello to family members at christenings, through birthdays, weddings, anniversaries, right through to saying final goodbyes to loved ones. The Institute has been here for so many of us from the beginning to the end. Many of you have enjoyed some very special days and nights out here. Many of you are yet to visit. Last year, we shared a five-year plan to make sure this institute shaped up to get ready to be here, not just for the railway bicentenary, but for another hundred years beyond that. And we were doing so well, so very, very well. And you were right there behind us. The coronavirus has brought that to a screeching halt and its effects have now pushed us to the brink. Unable to do for you all what we do best and despite our very best efforts, it has suffered financially. Closures, the cost of PPE, new safety equipment, extra cleaning equipment, products and gels, bringing in our own staff to give you a safe table service, essential repairs and lost stock both times we had to close. The restrictions cut our opening hours by 18%. Our capacity was cut and almost all our events were cancelled. Right now we're down to the coppers while the bills keep coming. We know we're not alone in this, but we also know we're the latest guardians of something very special. Decades ago, the railway companies would have had our backs and looked after us. But nowadays, it's down to just us and you. This fantastic railway institute belongs to the community. If it goes, it will be gone forever. From our windows and doors, we can see a world desperately waiting for a vaccine to protect them from this terrible virus. Your Institute too now needs a shot in the arm to protect it from the effects of the virus. That's why we're asking members everywhere and others from our community and beyond if you will support this crowdfunder and make a donation to save our institute. Anything you feel you could give could be what keeps this institute above water until it can stand on its own two feet again as it did last year. If you can't donate, that's okay. You can help us reach other people by sharing this message. When this virus is over, we've already proved this institute will thrive. We want to keep this great story going. For Timothy Hackworth, for our parents, grandparents and great-grandparents and all those who have gone before us, but most importantly, for those yet to come. Together we make incredible things happen. We are children. We can do anything when we put our hearts and minds to it. So please do consider helping once again to save our student.